Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkBook laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkBook 14-IIL and then the model name for this one is a 20SL. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop, on the bottom cover or inside the BIOS. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up, how you can add extra storage and what are the limits and the form factor of the storage that you can have in here. Just remember once you replace the main storage in here, you have to install the Windows freshly installed. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also made another video how to install the Windows properly on your Lenovo laptop so you don't get those extra bloatware affiliated programs installed. Follow those links in case you want to install your Windows. In this video, we're just going to open it up and show you how to remove the hard drives and what are the configuration that you can have in here. All right, with all that said, let's dive in. So first thing first, back up your file, but turn off the laptop, flip it upside down, and in here we're going to grab ourselves the screwdriver set. I'll be using a Netflix screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable for opening cases and covers. I don't know why it's not focusing. Let me start this one here. This has a focusing problem on the camera. So yeah. All right. So down here, we're gonna remove all the screws that we see on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, including the one in the middle inside these tiny holes. Remove all of them and keep them in a separate in one pile as they are the same. So I'm just gonna fast forward this part and just remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the commentary area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab yourself the opening tool and we are going to work in here. We're going to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover just on that tiny line right there. Work yourself, stick it right in there. And what you want to do, you want to squeeze it, the bottom cover just towards the outside. Pretty much I'm going this way out. You want to do that and you want to hear those click sound. That's what you want to hear on the bottom cover. You want to do that on the front end, on the side, work yourself all the way down to the back corner. Once you do the front, the rest should be really easy. And then you want to do that. Oh look, the cover just came out pretty easy. Just grab it from the front, lift it up, it will come out. All right, and down here we can see the hole inside of the laptop. It is kind of dirty, we need to clean it up. I'll do that in a different video. All right, right away we can see that there's an empty space here and they do give an adapter for a mechanical drive or 2.5 inch solid state drive. So we can first work on this one. Working on this one, you don't need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary, but for those people that are very paranoid, if you want to disconnect the battery, you can do that just by pulling this cable backward straight and the battery will get disconnected. But if not, just slide it in evenly in and pinch it right inside that connector. To remove this caddy here, we need to remove one screw right there. It should be four of them. One, two, three, four. Four screw that holds the caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. Right, once we remove that, we can just go ahead and lift it up. There's a cable for the sticker. Just untangle that. Bring it up like that. We slide this connector backward. Now we have the caddy, and it does come with a four screw, two on each side that holding this empty plastic. Now you can grab yourself a good brand hard drive. I'll recommend you a Samsung brand, Samsung Evo or Samsung Pro, up to four terabyte solid state drive, or you can grab a up to two terabyte mechanical drive in here because the reason is up to two terabyte because anything over two terabyte mechanical drive will be a thicker profile and it will not just go through. They have to be a slim profile for mechanical drive. But SSDs, they are low profile. So you can grab any of them, four terabyte or two terabyte, you can place it in here. 
the both SSDs and mechanical drive they have the same interface so don't worry about any different interface and when you put it in here you have to see the power connector and the SATA it's like that so that means if I have to put it upside down in here in order for this adapter to go in there otherwise the adapter will not go in there and if I try to rotate the adapter it's not going to reach and it's going to stress the cable so I will leave it like that and I will just put the hard drive in there to put it in there all you need to do is to remove these four screws on each side remove the plastic put this one on top and put the screws right over and then imagine this is the hard drive I'm not just going to open it demonstration connect the adapter right inside the hard drive imagine and put the cable the speaker cable right over and align it put it down and put the four screws for this carry and this is if you want to add an additional storage and this is how you can add an additional storage and there's no configuration or anything required just put it in there and in my computer you should see the hard drive if you don't see it in the hard drive because you need to format and create a partition and that's very easy to do and this is the main storage in here this is an m.2 storage this is a short one they give you an extension to in order to be able to put it in there to remove the m.2 all you need to do is to remove this screw at the back here remove that screw and remove this metal bracket bring it up and slide it slide it backward so this is just an extension and to remove this m.2 short one just slide it backward and it will come out pretty easy there's a thermal pad right underneath these are an nvme storage you don't need this power it's too much useless you have a cap on tape this is a 500 gig you can grab a two terabyte uh, storage nvme you cannot put a four terabyte because it will not lay down flat because the components will not let the double-sided chip so you can grab any full size NVMe that will be like this if you get a uh, Samsung 980 Pro up to 2 terabyte make sure the notch on the uh, SSD matches the notch right on the dim bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector and bring it down make sure the screw hole matches and just put that single screw that you removed from that bracket right over and there now you have a full size SSD right in there with better quality and better performance than this short end uh, solid state drives. And but if you replace this one, you have to install your Windows freshly installed. Just remember to remove it, remove the screw, slide it backward, grab the old SSD. The original one make sure the notch matches slide inside the jack bring the adapter put the neck of the adapter right on the screw hole bring it down hold it there and put the tiny screw right over there we have it and that's how you can upgrade this one so you have this one here and you have this one you have a, you can have up to same time two terabyte and a four terabyte solid state drive or 2 terabytes M.2 and 2 terabyte mechanical drive. All right, once you're done with that one, just grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, push down the corners, the front and the back, make sure you hit those nice big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them together and it will go to its place. And this is how you can upgrade your storage for your Lenovo ThinkBook 14-IIL model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.